Hey everybody, it's John DePietro. As you can see, I am at Hemlock Hill RV. I'm talking with Missy. And Missy is assistant service manager, right Missy? You got it. And um, there's two things that um, immediately that I want to talk to you about. Okay, number one is you won a national award, 40 under 40, from the RVIA, which is the National Association of the RV Industry. Um, first of all, Tell us how you felt when you found out you were nominated and then won. Well, that was cool. So I actually didn't know that I was nominated. Um, so I got these emails to send a picture of myself. And obviously, I thought that was spam. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah was spam. and I was like, what the heck? So, um, you know, a picture with a description. And then once I looked into it, I was like, wow, that's awesome. So I didn't even know I was nominated. And that was, it was pretty cool to win that. And, pretty cool. Yeah. One of a few females, right? Yeah, I mean, there was 40 of us. I don't remember how many females, but I mean, either way, it was fun to meet everybody. And uh, it was, you know, people from parts departments, service departments, all the way up to, um, you know, people in the manufacturing. So that was, that was really cool. Hmm. You know, and the other aspect of, number one, winning that national award, and number two, being a female in this industry, which is pretty much male-dominated, what do people think when they uh, come up to the service window to schedule an appointment? <laughs> And you're there. Do they say, uh, let me talk to the guy in charge? Or do they, once they speak to you, realize your degree First of off, knowledge? Uh, so honestly, to be uh, up front, usually, yeah. They'll be like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, awesome, how can I help you? And they're like, well, you probably can't. <laughs> uh, Just like that. <laughs> yeah, typically that's what happens. And then, you know, if there's a guy around, usually they make eye, eye contact over there. But, you know, once we get into it and then they know that I actually care about what they're talking about and are probably the best one that could help them. Usually the attitude changes and then uh, we have a long-term customer. But not only just care about it, but are really are knowledgeable because this yeah. is not your first rodeo in the, uh, I mean, you've been around this business, what, seven, eight years? Yeah, seven years. Okay. So when you came in, what were you doing? So I was a service advisor and I was a 100% inexperienced service advisor. So coming here was pretty great because it actually turned me into a camper. So I, I do go camping. I have a, a used fifth wheel I purchased from here with my two kids. And um, I enjoy the experience. So I think that probably helps a lot um, to get into it. So I started just writing up service and talking about maintenance and, um, you know, went through it all. Now I'm the assistant service manager, which is a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. So, And the fact that you do camp yourself, that must be an amazing benefit to you. Because when the person comes in and says something is wrong, you say... You know, I know what you're talking about. I had the same thing happen, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot of the time it's a, you know, I've been there, I've done that, and this is what we're going to do to help you out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we're in a brand new unit right now. Yes. And I'm saying, well, what is a service person doing in, in a new unit? What, what are you doing, and why are we here? So this would be, so this is a brand new unit that's going to get delivered next week. Um, so typically what I do when we pull it in is I'm just going to do an inspection, you know, see how it looks from the manufacturer, see if there's anything that I noticed that a technician necessarily wouldn't. And then also kind of go through and talk to the customer about, you know, accessories they can add on and, uh, you know, the best way they could utilize their new camper. Mm -hmm. And the fact, again, that you're a camper with accessories that you have in the front of the building. Yeah. Um, there are certain things that just don't come with the manufacturer because people have different needs and and needs, uh, desires to be certain areas. Yeah, I mean, they, the accessories uh, now in 2019 are endless. You know, they used to be kind of vent covers to upgraded tires. Now it's, you know, fireplaces and Wi-Fi. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's, um, you know, but it's not only that. Usually I like, just like to get familiar with all the units. So when I have the customer on the phone and they're looking for some help, I'm familiar with what they're actually looking at. So if they know? say they have a four-door refrigerator freezer, you know what they're talking about. You, <laughs> you know what they're it. talking about. And now they're all new. Uh, Furion's a big name coming into the industry now with a yeah. wide variety of different products. I see a, a television right here, but I know they have stoves and uh, uh, air conditioners, etc. Yeah, Wi-Fi, microwaves, the whole yeah. nine. Yeah. So you've got to stay up with all the new uh, yeah. add-ons and gadgets, right? <laughs> yeah. So that's exactly why we're in here because it would be the worst to get a call from a customer that needed some help. And to be not familiar with, you know, what's in the unit. So okay. we, we have to be in here. No, Missy, somebody just wrote here and said, Hi, Missy, is the food ready yet? You got it. Sandwiches are hot and ready and it smells delicious. Right. And another guy here, I don't know exactly who he is. He just said his name is Chris. Yeah. Chris Andro. I've been doing this over 30 years and Missy knows more than <laughs> me about service. I have to ask her advice. 
Now, obviously, I know who Chris is. Tell us who Chris is. So Chris is the owner of the company. Um, he does ask me a lot. You know, we're, we're all a team here, and I think, um, you know, Chris also camps. So I think if you guys came and you met me and you met Chris and you got with the sales guy, you would really feel comfortable with the whole experience about camping. Now, you just said something very important. You said we're all a team here. Yeah. And earlier when I was talking to Addie, who went on the air because you were with a client. Yes. Um, and she brought us out to Josh and everybody's seamless here. Nobody says, oh, I don't want to be on camera, but everybody says, you know what, for the good of the company, let's show people that we really are a team. Definitely. It's got to make you feel good. Yes. Okay. Yes. So where can people come to meet you? So, uh, I mean, this... not that this is match.com, but I mean, this is, uh, <laughs> no, definitely we're... Not. We're... so this weekend we're open, obviously for our open house. So we're open today till four. We're open tomorrow, uh, 11 to four. And then we're open all week, so you can come, uh, you know, service department up until 5 o'clock. Um, either if you need any estimates, you guys okay. have any questions. So as far as service, people should really be making appointments now, even though they might not be taking the unit out for a few more yeah, weeks. because it's that uh, time. Um, so what happens every year, and it's happened every year for the last seven years, is uh, typically April comes and everybody's in a frenzy. Uh, you know, if I could make a recommendation, it would probably be a couple weeks before you plan on actually camping. Would it be to go through it, you know, open it up, look at things you haven't looked at, try your appliances, you know. And you will do that for them. Oh, absolutely. If they don't uh, feel competent. Yeah, right? definitely. Especially getting on roofs. We were talking before about sealants and that type of thing. You guys will get on roofs. Oh, yeah, I'm up there all the time. <laughs> you tell yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You got to okay. be. So, um, you know, you got to check your roof. You got to check your sealants. I mean, that stuff, even on brand new units, say in your owner's manual, they ask you to check it within 90 days. And grease um, does degrade in time. Grease does degrade. You know, wheel bearings every 12 months. That's that's recommended right from the axle manufacturers. Even the slide uh, mechanisms. Everything, yep. So yeah. we have uh, we have breakdowns. We have packages to save you guys some money um, for all your yearly maintenances. Or if you just had general questions on what you should be checking, we, mm -hmm. can, we can definitely... And you'll even know that different lubricants go on different parts. Yes. Whether or not they're water... Uh, uh, accessible or or whatever but that's important as well if, if you lubricate something with the wrong lubricant it's yeah. like negative yeah sometimes it can't be undone <laughs> can't be undone. yeah so you want to make sure I mean we have all the lubricants in stock um, you know make sure you check your roofs make sure you go through your appliances uh, definitely bring it to Hemlock Hill so we can do that for you and make sure that you know you have a good start to your camping season okay I see I know that you uh, want to continue checking this unit out, we'll let you go and uh, tell people we're at Hemlock Hill and we are in Southington, Connecticut, you got it. right off of Interstate 84. And uh, come on down and have some fun and some free food from Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Thanks, guys.